Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and sometimes I even slum it up on GameFound. And that's exactly what we're doing today. We're checking out the Isofarian Guard, the second printing. This has already raised $92,000. It just launched uh, an hour ago. It's got a 9 on Board Game Geek, and I gotta say... I, I, I mean, that's about as best you're going to do. It does look like people are, are starting to really utilize these squares a little bit better. I like what Peacemakers is doing here, showcasing the components. Uh, but just the, the square in general just makes it really hard to display things as much as the rectangle does. And I know I sound like I'm just an old fool ranting about this, but I actually ask companies that have used GameFound, have used Kickstarter at both Origins and Gen Con. And they were both like... Yeah, we kind of prefer the, the rectangle too. It just gives you more room to play with. Uh, but as always, when you go in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? The player length, the time count, the age. Because now game found. God dang it, game found. Stop switching it up. It used to be that you could. Oh, now you can click this. Okay, you can click this. There we go. Uh, reveals with new and updated content. Explore this one to two player narrative driven board game featuring a fully voice acted storyline. Ooh, and musical story, score powered by Foreteller. Once again, game found does not want you to know on the image. They want you to have to make that extra click in order to find out that valuable information because ha -ha, we're game found i i oh, game found just grind my gears as always when you get in the video though i'm thinking three things do i want to can you do it how much is it let's go board lots of place to explore cool Ooh, big map Deluxe components, okay. Massive box. Guide eight guards throughout five interweaving campaigns. Cool. I've never thought cubes look great. Those cubes look great. It's a nice shot. supposed to show me that's a playmat. I think that's what that was. I think that was like the little hint at a playmat. Let me double check that. Maybe not? It's just, it's your, it's just your logo. Okay. I think that's a playmat. As they deal with a power that threatens not only Isofar, but the entire world. Great organization. Oh, that's that was a really good shot right there. Just immersing me into the theme by saying, "Hey, you know, these aren't just all willy-nilly tiles. You put this tile down, it's gonna match. It's gonna match the backdrop." My wallet is trembling. Yeah, this one does look like a lot of fun. I tried to get my uh, my local library to buy a copy of this one. I think they did actually. I guess you need to check it out. Wow. the mat. Foreteller. For ten hours of composed orchestral music. Cool. Ooh, bag building. Love it. Now, was that paper or was that zoomed in? I want to just see that shot again. Okay, so it is. It's zoomed in. Now, where did we zoom in there? Right here. And now you zoom in on it, and presumably this is uh, on, on the paper somehow. That's cool. So you go to the area on the big overhead map, and then you go to the pages in the book, to presumably see more details on it. Love that. Sounds like there's a companion app. I usually poke those with a stick. No, I think it's just the foreteller. I don't think this one necessarily has the... Uh, so that's just the narration and the audio. Which I could take or leave. I mean, I like it, but personally, I love I love hamming it up and making the making the character sound like this and all that sort of stuff. But either way, I don't think it's like a necessary app. But then I could, I could be wrong. We'll find out. Wow, 
is that a tech tree? Oh my, that looks great. Okay. Ahoy, Ricardo. Okay, I want it. <laughs> they did a good job there. I think that was a well done video. Uh, I think they spotlighted some absolutely drop dead gorgeous components. They spotlighted the fact that you're going to be playing this for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, decade, you know, tens of hours. I said, I was about to say decades of hours. Tens of hours, hundreds of hours potentially. Uh, so 180 bucks. Okay. I'd say that seems Kickstarter reasonable. Once again, I love the GameFound. Just pops it right there, right in front of me. I don't have to beat around the bush and go searching for it. Exclusively on GameFound, the Ice Fairy Guard. So, uh, can you do it? This was actually on Kickstarter. And now they're slumming it over here on GameFound. So, it'll be interesting to see how that one goes. Uh, but let's make sure people got their stuff. I'm pretty sure they have. I'm in Canada. I haven't seen my game yet. Do I need to worry? Good afternoon. Fulfillment was completed months ago by UPS. Please send us a PM so we can assist. If you struck me, the new campaign at GameFound is coming to include an option for previous owners to get a box of the upgrade new content. Will it be possible to get sleeves to cover that content if it's just a matter of swapping out olds? Uh, I'm waiting for the playmat with special tubing, so set you a PM 21 days ago. 20... So yeah, this is... So it looks like good customer service. The fact that we have only have a couple people complaining uh, about not getting stuff. A couple weeks. Yeah. Good. Good deal. Can you do it? Yes, I feel comfortable. Do I want it? Yes, it started a bit earlier today. This is a bit of an aside, but what is the right Kickstarter campaign like for a board game? I've seen two weeks, I've seen 60 days, the average seems to be about 30 days. It really depends on what you got planned. Uh, I think, from what I've read, the most the most suggested one's like 28 days, round about that. You don't want it to stretch out too long, because then you lose a lot of excitement, momentum, and it just kind of sits there, and if you're... you're if you're not anywhere close to getting, you know, stretch goals potentially, it can just stagnate a little bit. Uh, but then I've also seen at the same time, you know, people try and go with those 10-day, 14-day ones. And you have to really pack in a lot of excitement in that time period to convince people. Um, I think it really depends on what kind of campaign you're trying to run. How much do you have up your sleeve? Do you have stretch goals? Do you have daily unlocks? Are you going to have streams planned with different content creators throughout it? I think I don't think there's a silver bullet one-size-fits-all necessarily. Uh, one to two players, ages 14 plus. The Ice Fairy and Guard is a story-driven game designed for one to two players. The Ice Fairy Guard with the Forteller app on a decent set of speakers is hands down the most immersive board game experience I've ever had. Wow. So, I feel like that's a really solid quote, especially for a game that's trying to go for immersing you into it. Not to mention it's Alex, who's clearly played thousands and thousands of games. Because let's be quite frank, you know, quotes have different weights to them, and who gives that quote also has different weights to them. So I feel like that's a really solid quote to lead off with. Good afternoon, just an FYI. Game Pound is currently offline, and pledges are currently not online. Their dev team is actively working on it. Like I said, slumming it up on GameFound. That is a bummer, man. I thought that seemed... I thought it seemed a little low. I was like, wow, okay, it's only like 90,000. That really sucks. Um... Bummer. The Ice Fairy Guard is an open-world sandbox tabletop experience that gives you the freedom to choose how to play. Travel throughout the cities and wilderness of Icefar on a beautifully illustrated world map. Fight off enemies using a unique and kindly customizable battle system that utilizes bag building and uses your wits to talk your way out of sticky situations. Looks, This looks super fun. Like This looks like the kind of thing that my 10-year-old and I would just smash. Uh, a compass chip means you've found an open road. Place a purple cube on the region's event deck. Once through, we'll look at all the text and choose your own adventure. Yeah, that's the one thing I will say. I thought that was a really well done video. I didn't feel like we focused nearly enough on the amount of text potentially in this game if there is text. I don't think I saw text hardly at all in that video, especially like you showed me the campaign books, but campaign books are not all created equal. As if you played campaign games, you know some of them are and some of them aren't. Um, but that's a nitpick. I still think the video is great. Uh, foreteller, amplifier on adventure. Just give me that gameplay. Give me some more super groups. Here we go. Scenario 1-1. One, one. Wait, what? Why is this five minutes? Uh, is this... You t oh, you're trying to... Sh I don't care. Whatever. Um, Castle Strig. This is just... Why? I, okay. This is something reading it to me. I guess you're trying to show me the immersiveness. Just show me a video uh, of gameplay. Amazing game design, production quality, top-notch, narrow... So it's a player review. Okay, so I don't particularly like 
when we just get random reviews from Board Game Geek, because let's be quite frank, you could totally make a burner account and you could say anything you want about it. If I ever did Help Wanted Second Edition, which is a game I did like 10 years ago, an adult party game, I could create a BGG thing and talk about how it was the most revolutionary adult party game of all time and I've played hundreds of them, blah, blah, blah. I just feel like when you go outside of the realm of content creators, it's just, it gets to be a bit of a sticky widget. Because, like, if Alex says something versus Player Review 63, yeah. Uh, I saw the book, gave me near and far vibes, specifically in the video. I saw the outside of the book, I didn't see the inside. Yeah, game found it was loading ages. I was only back at 295, due waiting minutes till it was up again, and then again till my pledge went through. I think so many people crashed the site. Woo! That'd be awesome. I mean, it's, it's not awesome that the site has crashed, but if it's if you're the one who's crashing it, that's pretty awesome. Because yeah, uh, this is God. I hate how they. I hate. I hate GameFound's main page. It is so freaking stupid. Shop so many crap that I, it's old news. All right, you should know. This is Kickstarter. This is GameFound. People are cold to the new. We want the new stuff. I don't want something that just got done a day ago, or a month ago, or two weeks ago. I want stuff that's now. It's so annoying. Here we go. How many do they actually have on there? Oh, it's their, their website is down. Okay, so yeah, just you back. Uh, the first two quotes they show are week slash month olds. I recognize them. Okay, I don't think I mind. I don't think I mind them all. Is this Jesus Christ? Are we just more on the foreteller? I get it. You got an app that says fancy stuff to me. I get it. Can we move on? Set up a teardown only takes ten minutes. Wow. Now that, that's worth way more than weight in gold than that foreteller. Holy guacamole, that looks great. Yes, please. How to play. Uh, Want to learn how to play? We've got an official rule book, a how to play video series, and our official rule pop rules website below. Click to download the rule booklet. Cool, and I imagine it's going to be good because it's the second printing. First time setup, starting a new game. So bite-sized chunks. What's in the box? But they're there. Okay. Five detailed minis, three card boxes, two dual sticks, a whole bunch of these. Uh, poker chip sounds thing. 204 enemy cards, 55 armor cards, 688 enemy artificial intelligence cards. Wow, we're up to over a thousand cards already. Woo, I think that's a number you slap people in the face with there. It looks like we're around 1,300, 1,400 cards. Wow. That's a great, that's a huge chunk of cards. Set up a teardown in 10 minutes. Yep, I already saw that, but pound that drum. Pound that drum all the live long day. Uh, so here's the full game pledge. Full game plus, oh, is that why we're focusing so much on the foreteller? You're trying to squeeze 20 extra bucks on me for the 15 hours of audio narration? I imagine most people are going to do that. That's such a small amount, relatively speaking, on Kickstarter. Other than that, it's the same, maybe? neoprene play mat i would also do the centimeters in, in addition to the inches i always i always knock people when they don't do the inches but i'm going to knock people when they don't do the centimeters as well because that is you know the majority of the world oh so these are four different bundles okay now i see there's the gameplay bundle uh so there's the full game bundle there's the game play bundle this is weird you're going left to right i guess uh, okay whatever so we got the full game pledge. maybe just like an arrow would be nice boom to boom to boom uh, so the full game pledge comes with that game plus this this is where we get the fancy neoprene play mat so it's going to be bumping it up 60 bucks and you throw in the foreteller got to get that in the sleeves okay i'll be very interested to see what the most popular pledge level is here i don't feel like this is a great value but at the same time i have a feeling it's going to be the most popular I'm just going to make that stab in the dark. The only game I played solo that kept me invested longer than 10 plays, and it's still getting better from a random person. Awesome. I mean, that's a great quote, but it's, it's a random person. 100 new field event cards, a new water region. Ooh, new content. Oh, that's huge. 100 new cards? Wow, that's fantastic. So we have reveals on the 6th, the 9th, the 12th, the 15th, the 18th, the 21st, the 24th, the 27th. Ooh, is that a piratey thing? And then we got a little skull there. I like how they put it out. I'm excited. I want to come back and see what they got. Okay, so they've given me a reason to come back to their Kickstarter campaign without having stretch goals, it looks like. And that's the power of unlocks, especially if you have a game like this that I feel like they've done a great job selling it. Innovative combat, fun crafting system, and a compelling world that you get to take part in. The open world feels a lot like Skyrim. This is the perfect game for my wife and I to play many hours together. Okay, I'm coming around. They're, I'm coming around. They're spotlighting such great quotes 
that I'm like, all right, I don't even care if it's from some rando at BGG. And once again, I'm some rando from BGG who just happened to start talking in front of a camera. So, you know, I'm not knocking that. It's just I can see companies abusing it. Uh, unboxing the first production copy. Look, that looks so good. Yeah, and I saw this, I believe, at Origins. Looks great. Uh, impressions and gameplay footage. The Ice Fairy Guard is getting the bar for potential 2023 game of the year. So it's great. K is setting the bar for potential 20. Yeah, okay. I like those are the quotes better. I hate to say that, but I'll admit it to you. I'll admit it to you. So this is a 40 minute full review if you really want to get in the weeds. Awesome. The Ice Fairy Guard is complete campaign experience. The bag building and card building combos I can string together in combat. They get so satisfying. Can't wait for the new reveals in the campaign. Okay. I do like that. Bag building, card ability combos. I love the word combos. How to play, how to play. For my solo gamers, the Ice Fairy and Guard is the top 10 game of 2023. Don't feel like that's a great quote. Don't feel like that's a great quote at all, and I love Jeremy. I love me some Jeremy. But just, hey, what did you think about that game? One of the best top 10 solo games of the year. It's like, okay. You're telling me it's very good, but that's for the whole year. I don't know. Once again, I don't put that on Jeremy. So they chose that quote. Overall, I'm just a little blown away by this game. I think it's a board game that I've always dreamt of playing, but I didn't exist. But it didn't exist until now. Tons, tons of videos. Good video dump area here. Let go. So 108, uh, 103 people got this one. 77 people got that. 240 got that. Uh, 131. So the most popular one is still, yep, the All In Bundle. But all these have reasonable numbers except for that gameplay bundle. What's the difference between the gameplay bundle? Oh, it's the sleeves. Yep, sleeves. Got it. Neoprene play match. Got the add-ons. All right. Looks good. Looks good. Looks solid. Our partners. We work with things. Here's our stuff. We got the people. Lots of stuff here. Lots of people. Why place now? Man, that really sucks that game found us down. Like, that sucks so hard. How many people are not going to pull the trigger? Are going to forget about it? Man. Luckily, it's got 24 days left to go. But golly, on your first day. Once again... This is the reason why I feel like most people eventually end up... This is just one of the reasons. It was $79 on Kickstarter. Big price difference. It was. That is a massive price difference. But let's take a look at it. Pre-2019. I mean, I think we can all safely say that September 2019 is a much different place than September 2023. So I'm not going to dog them too much on that. And let's be quite frank. For the amount of game that's going on here 79 dollars is not a reasonable number like let's 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 all just sit back and say that box 79 dollars like that's that is legitimately a great price back then uh you don't see too many campaigns like that unfortunately anymore and if you do you know you're gonna have to mass produce the living snot out of that you're gonna have to know that you're making a very you know multiple multiple thousand print run right from the jump all right, how they use the back of the rule booklet. They, oh, they're cool. Okay. I don't mind a reference on the back of the rule booklet. The credits can go get bent. That's the useless information to most people. But it looks like a solid rule booklet. Uh, let's check out the comments, FAQ updates. Give this one a grade. I feel bad, man. I feel bad. That sucks. That game found sucks sometimes. And I can't I can't check out the comments. Oh, wait, can I? Can I check them out? I got the all-in because $35 for 1,700 sleeves for two different sizes is an okay deal for less hassle, I think. Yeah, especially with a game like this. That's why I was kind of like, oh yeah, I think that's going to be the most popular pledge level. Because if you're buying this game, you have plans to keep this game for the rest of your life. Like, let's be quite frank. If you're buying this game, you're probably like, yeah, I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. Come on, load up the comments! Game found. You suck. There we go. For those who who also got the sleeves, let's see the... Why did I try and click on something? I should have known I shouldn't have tried to click on something. God. It's going to get even worse later this week because we're going... We are going deep, deep into the slums. If you thought going to Game Found was slumming it, later this week, I'm going to Indie Freaking Go Go. I've only went to Indie Go Go one other time and it was it looked like a giant scam so we're gonna go to indiegogo later this week and look at this new like this new video game board game system they got which i have a feeling is gonna be i try to come to these with blind eyes but i feel like it's not gonna be great uh everything you said just doesn't make any sense but i suppose the main purpose was for you to release your frustrations so this is someone saying something in a different language that i can't read french hashtags <laughs> i guess we put a hashtag french okay let's see what this is in English, let's go. 
I hope so much for this game. In French, is there a way to motivate this approach? Oh, yeah. I imagine with the amount of text, that's going to be really hard. And that's where companies can get in trouble when they try to overextend too much uh, and try to print all these different languages. And Okay. Final grade for this one. Do I want it? Yes. I feel like they did a really good job. Solid video on the video. I think there is uh, a good deal of buzz around this game as well. It looks really good. It's got really good reviews on Board Game Geek. And uh, yeah, so do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? I'm going to go with a yes on that one. It's a massive box. You did it somehow, somehow, the first time, only getting $79. Oh, did we get shipping? Where was the shipping? Did I miss out on the shipping? I did. How did I miss that? Okay. Because uh, you didn't just use a graph. God, why do people do this? It's so easy to just make a graph. Just, just make a graph. I don't need, I don't need the scroll and the artwork and the stupid tiny text. Just give me a graph. We've just completed fulfillment on the first print run of the game and know exactly what the costs are associated with freight and shipping in each country. Shipping for a pledge that includes the full game will be a flat fifty dollars to any location in the world. Wow, that's um, that's interesting. You do not see that often at all, and. I can't imagine that they're reinventing the wheel here. So that I'm not I'm not batting an eye at it because it's a massive big box and 50 boxes. It is what it is. I definitely feel like you're probably getting jerked around now if you're just buying that hundred and eighty dollar one. Because I have a hard time believing that this, including a play mat, and this one including a play mat, and you know seventeen hundred card sleeves or whatever is the same price as this. So they're clearly they're they're jamming you right now to get the full game pledge as opposed to the other ones, but still two thirty in and out the door. It's Kickstarter reasonable. That's just so interesting. Fifty bucks in and out the door. I will say that concerns me. Well, that's such a large amount for shipping too, but it's such a big box. Interesting. I like the idea of it, but there is a lot of game. Ooh, yeah, this is definitely one where you're gonna have to. You're going to want maybe a table. Just Well, they said it was 10 minutes to set up and sit down. Where can I find the game rules? What is the estimated fulfillment? Q2 of 2024. Yeah, they're trying to get that oh-so-juicy convention season. It makes sense. So final grade for the Isofarian Guard second printing run. Do I want it? Yes. Do, yeah, I do. I was interested in this game before I got onto this, and it only piqued my interest even more, despite the fact I don't feel like they pose... They didn't focus a lot on the gameplay necessarily on this and they focused a lot more on you know the components but i feel like they did a great job spotlighting all the different components i feel like this video was really rock solid um then how much is it kickstarter reasonable um shipping does concern me a little bit like that's just because you just don't see it anytime i see something on kickstarter gamebound that i don't see anywhere else i'm like ooh, what are, either you figured something out or, like, it's just, it's it's a weird one there. But I'm going to give them the nod on this one. Final grade for this one, I think, overall, B+. Plus. Uh, main image kind of sucks, but they spotlighted the 9, and that's great. And they can't do much, because GameFound likes to crash and have square images and whatnot. Um, I shouldn't say they like to crash. Obviously, they're pretty, probably kicking themselves for crashing. Uh, but, but, I mean, it is what it is. B+. Plus. Looks like a really solid game. Looks fun. They got the gameplay videos. They got all everything you need. They got the rule booklet. Maybe I'm going A minus because I'm trying to think of what they have that's like they they what they don't have. Like, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I want to have that's so much. There's so much there. There's only five minis too. It's good. Less mini bloat in the box. I don't give a damn about your minis. I love those thousand plus cards. Yeah, I'm going with an A minus. I like it. I like it. The Ice Fairy Guard second printing. Um, yeah. A minus. Let me know in the comments below what's your final grade for this one. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. So I'm trying to reach 17,000 subscribers in 2023 to make it my biggest year ever. And fingers crossed, we're currently on pace. Let's go. As always, bye bye.